<clears throat> Hello, everyone, and good day to you all. Today is the memorial of Padre Pio, St. Pius Pietra Lesina. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, anyways, Padre Pio, great person to remember today uh, and ask for his intercession, his prayers in us. Uh, today, in our journey with Bishop Sheen and his wisdom, uh, he talks about the idea of good and evil and how uh, at one point he says uh, people will often forget God by remind, by thinking that there is so much evil in the world there cannot be a God. And Bishop Sheen just reminds us very quickly and very clearly that uh, evil is in opposition to good, which is God, and goodness has to exist for us to recognize evil. He says at the very end of his little talk there, a little phrase there, that no one would know that their automobile wasn't working right if we didn't have an idea of what it should be. No one can look at evil in the world around us and say that's evil if we don't have an idea, an inner sense, right? That natural law that is placed within our hearts that says that's wrong, that's not good, that's hurting the good order, the holiness, the blessedness of the world, which is how God created the world to be, how God wants the world to be. And so what do we do? Well, first of all, I think the recognition is, is there is so much good in the world. Truly, there is so much good in the world. That's why the evil stands out so greatly. Not that there's so much of it, and yes, there is a lot of evil, a lot of people doing a really lot of bad things. But we only recognize that as human beings, as people of faith, as people of goodness and holiness because of that, that we know that's not the way it should be, that we know there is a better way, that we know that there is a way of justice, a way of peace, a way of reconciliation, a way of compassion, a way of mercy, all these things that we know that God is, we know are in opposition to the evil around us. So whether it be war, whether it be prejudice, whether it be all the isms of the world, whether it be things like abortion and the death penalty and euthanasia, which the church is against, those gifts of life, right? whatever it is, we remind ourselves that we only recognize it because God shows us how precious life is, how joyous life is, how much gracefulness and gratitude is within life, and we are called to live it in that way. Recognizing evil for what it is and placing the cross of Jesus Christ in the center and saying this may not be. So let us fight against the evil today, uh, not fearing evil, but embracing the cross of Jesus Christ. Anyways, thank you so much. Uh, for Fulton Sheen's great wisdom, the Bishop Sheen's great wisdom, and the prayers in the example of holiness and faithfulness that Padre Pio was in our lives. May God bless you and keep you safe. I will keep praying for you if you keep praying. No, I will keep praying for you no matter what. Please keep praying for me, okay? God bless you. Have a great weekend, okay?